If you've ever been off-road at night, even with a light bar, you know the tunnel vision effect that happens. You never know what's to the side of your current path. It's a total abyss on each side off the corners of your hood. Stick around and I'll show you how I solved this. Welcome to Dylan's Garage. Before I get started, hit the link below and use my discount code DG15 for 15% off your new lights. When Cool Light contacted me for collaboration, I eagerly accepted. They have some rad looking lights and they offered to send me a pair of their 3 inch HD series combo beam for my 4th gen 4Runner. Combo meaning it has both spot and flood beams. In addition, they sent a relay to power the lights and universal ditch light hood mounts. The universal mounts are exactly what the name suggests. You can mount them on the hood of any vehicle. In each light box, you'll find a light and its included bracket and hardware. First thing you'll want to do is bolt the bracket to the universal mount. I wasn't exactly sure at first which way the bracket should face, and if I had a critique for Cool Light, it would be that I wish the bracket was just a half inch or so taller and had a non-interference design so you had more control of the light's mounting angle. After trying it both ways, it's best to angle the bracket so the arms bend backwards away from the light. The universal hood mounts have somewhat flexible bottom plates and many tension screws to fit any contour, but if you have the option, try to avoid bumps and uneven surface. Tensioning the mount screws takes a few minutes. Since there isn't too much room down by the hood hinge on my 4Runner, the Allen wrench fits down there, but it's also a tight space, so it's slow going. That said, it's a super clean install when it's done. With these universal mounts, we won't need the hex head bolts and nuts that came with the lights. Just grab the Allen button head bolts to mount the lights to the bracket. Screw the light on and do those same steps on the other side. The relay is what plugs into your battery to power the lights while sending a low power line to a switch that you mount in the vehicle. If you plan to use it, all you need to do is like and subscribe, then connect the red wire to the positive side of your battery and the black wire to the negative side or to a body ground next to your battery. Then mount the relay somewhere safe with self-tapping screws or zip ties. I have a switch panel with a fuse box already installed in my engine bay so I don't need the relay. I just cut the wires off that have the light plugs and rounded them straight to my auxiliary fuse box. I was able to hide the big plug that's close to the light under my cowl and run the wire right from under the cowl into the engine bay. Be sure to always keep wires away from the exhaust pipes and manifold and off the engine. I usually tape all my wiring with Tessa tape which is the best thing you can wrap your wiring in but this wire is double insulated and it felt very durable so I just plugged it into the lights and routed it to my switch panel fuse box. At the fuse box I just twisted the two positive wires together and the two negative wires together and clamped them in to one of the 10 amp channels. I feel like this is one of the most overlooked light locations there are, especially with people who are new to off-roading. They get excited about a light bar and forget about the ditch lights. And many people make the mistake of pointing them straight, which kind of defeats the purpose unless you just don't have other lights like a light bar. Really, you should point them away and down to light up the abyss and know what's on the side so you can see what's coming before you make a turn. Do exactly what they say. They light up the ditch that you otherwise couldn't see. As you can see, they fully illuminate the areas that are normally dark. There's definitely cheaper lights out there, but you get what you pay for. I've used a lot of cheaper and more expensive lights, and it's really something where you get what you pay for. These have a noticeably brighter beam and stronger builds, so you know they'll last. Remember to use my 15% off discount code DG15 at checkout when you pick up your new 3-inch HD series ditch lights. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one.